Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a lot of people have been asking me to show them moves that they see in Power Rangers or on other TV shows where there's a lot of action. Um, you may see this a lot in different TV shows, including Power Rangers. It's known as a cartwheel. And again, and I'll move this time. So that's cartwheel. I like when people who are experts at their craft teach it more than me. He's gonna show you how to do. He's parkouring right now, technically. He's getting from point A to point B as efficiently as possible. Um, Okay, Dylan, so let's uh, learn how to do a cartwheel. <laughs> All right, so Dylan did awesome cartwheels and he's gonna teach you guys how to do that safely. So remember any skills or techniques or tips you see on this channel, you're doing at your own risk. So be safe. I, I, I believe I have to say that for, for legal reasons. One of my favorite ways is to have a partner. So if you have access to a friend or to a family member or even someone who's just willing to help. So a few things here to keep in mind is you want to have really straight arms. You don't need to be really buff like this guy over here to do cartwheels. You need to be able to get your biceps pr pretty much and your shoulders to your ears. And even then you don't have to necessarily be able to do that to do a, a cartwheel at all. If you want like a really pretty one, yes. But if you just want to be able to do a general cartwheel, you don't need it, don't worry about it. So the way we're gonna start is because Brennan is going to be going over his right hand first, we're going to start with his belly button facing towards the wall, making sure he's in a good lunge position. Now this is how it's going to look. Hands up by your ears, both hands, both hands square out. Cool. We're gonna lunge just a little bit right there. And you wanna make a straight body. So you wanna make a straight line from fingertips to the back of your heel. So if you notice here, Brennan is not in a straight line. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make him round out his back. Mm. Mm, right there. Now, my favorite thing with this, you're gonna hold this for a long time while I talk. Perfect. Where's your, where's your weight at? Is it in the front of your foot, in the middle of your foot, or in the back of your foot? Uh, the heel and the ball. I can pick up my toes. So we kind of want our weight to be in the center of our foot, so not necessarily in our heel, but not necessarily in our toes. Copy that. One hand is gonna turn outwards. In this case, it's gonna be his right hand. He's gonna turn this one outward, outwards. This is his garage, and this is his car. So this one's gonna point towards the garage. This car's gonna mm. go into the garage. Fancy. Does that make sense? So as we're gonna do this, we're going to reach. Now, you see what he's already doing? Here, he's already turning. We don't want to do this. You want to make sure that you're keeping pretty much like a, a handstand until the very last minute. And then, as Tita Tata, as you start to reach just before your hands hit the floor, then you turn it open like that. Just to get started, we're gonna do what's called a kick to handstand. Now this is gonna be really simple. You don't even need to go into a handstand. It's gonna be more of like a teeter-totter and it's just gonna look like this, extremely simple. You're gonna be in your lunge position. You're gonna kick. Mm. Because we wanna make sure that you can be on your hands without falling. We don't wanna see these, right? We don't wanna go push against the floor. Yeah, you wanna make sure your arms are tight and by your ears. Once we get to there, take a towel, a a crack on the floor if you'd like. Um, I'm gonna be standing on my line. Now instead of doing my hands this way, I'm gonna turn them just a little bit and I'm gonna be falling off the line here. The eventual goal is to go from start on the line, part wheeling all the way over to the other side of the line. But for now, I'm just gonna go up and I'm gonna come back down. And I'm gonna gradually make this bigger and bigger and bigger. Even if it starts like this, that's okay, it just can't stay there. From this position, to this position. Until it's gradually your butt and your feet are going over your head. Smooth. To staying on the line. So I'm doing the progressions. Uh, let me know if I'm doing them wrong. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Oh yeah, that's good. And then back up? Yep. And is it important to make sure my arms come up with my head? Or yep. can I do no, this? No, 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 absolutely not. That is a great question. You do not want to close your armpits. This is closing your armpits. Armpits are open, armpits are closed. Yep. Something like that. Yep, cool. Good. And then as you get comfortable. And then as you get comfortable with it, yeah, you want to bring your butt and your feet over your head a little bit more. Okay, so I start, and then last second turn my hands and up. Parkour. And you want to finish in the direction that you came from. So if I start facing this way, I'm gonna finish with my butt facing that way. So butt facing that way. There we go, yeah. Um, so we don't want to see me cartwheel this way and then my butt face on a, on a different side. So I don't want to go forward to sideways. I want to go forward to backwards. Woo! Yeah. He's going to do a thing out of a cartwheel to show you what is possible when you parkour longer than five minutes <laughs> in a YouTube video. The one, the cartwheel that I taught you is a front to back cartwheel. I like to go front to side. 
So if you want to be cool like the Titanozord person, um, follow his parkour channel for even more parkour. Thank you, Dylan, so much for teaching us then how to do the front to back, back. Yep. car wheel. You yep. got See, it. I listen sometimes. Sometimes. High five. Woo. Heel. Make sure you comment below because it helps the algorithm and that means we can make more videos because more people will watch them like you. Yeah.